This is going to be a, I guess you would call it a tip video, but it's also going to be a little bit of a rant, okay? You'll just have to uh, pardon me or indulge me while I, <laughs> I, I do my rant. But there are, I have a number of pet peeves. I know all of you have pet peeves. It's just part of life. But I, you know, I like cars. I'm around cars a lot. And one of my pet peeves is people complaining about the durability or the reliability of some part, some car, some component, but they don't take care of it. They don't maintain it. And then they complain because it, it fails and they call it various miscellaneous words, you know, that you see on these forums. And I think, I think one, one of the things that gets verbally abused more than others on some of these newer Mercedes-Benz is the heater blower motor. You know, there it is. We just removed it from this W211 because it was squeaking or it was chirping just a little bit at very, very low speed. This is pretty common. I've seen other people complain about this particular problem. And, you know, it's not a real expensive part. It's, it's kind of an annoyance and people complain that this is, well, a real, a real cheap, cheap unit, you know, a, a bare unit. But, um, you know, I'm beginning to realize there may be some other things in the mix, in the play. And I saw it uh, really pronounced on this car here when I removed the cabin air filter. Okay, look at this baby. This thing is so dirty, so filthy. I would estimate that it has not been changed in five or six years, okay? So when these things plug up and they build up excessive dust and dirt, finally, what do you think is going to get through the filter and where do you think it's going to go when it finally does get through it? Well, it's going to go right to this. And due to the turbulence and high speed of the squirrel cage fan spinning around in that box, a lot of the dust is going to end up in and around the shafts on the motor and into the bushings. And I'm convinced that that's one of the key reasons why you run into these squeaking and squirreling. And in severe cases, you may even get the motor to stall because that dust has dried out. Now, there's other factors. You could have a lot of high moisture content that could do this. But I'm not saying this is the only reason this occurs, but in this case, I am absolutely convinced. Look at look what happened here. We, we hung this little thing outside and we took the compressed air to it. You know, we started blowing around in a little bit of dirt and finally we got inside the motor. Can you believe how much dust and dirt was inside that motor? And, uh, you know, I hear people complain, oh, it's just not a good quality motor. Well, there's something to be said for preventative maintenance. And that falls on the owner, not on the engineer, or not on the, you know, the manufacturer. So, word to the wise, think about doing some preventative maintenance. You know, this is a $20 part, this is $130 to $150 part. So you make the call, okay, you make the call. Now, if you're working on your newer Mercedes-Benz, and you're having, this, this car actually had two problems. It had that squeaking motor, and it had very low airflow through the vents. Well, look at that. I, I fixed it. $20. Now I got phenomenal amount of airflow through the vents. Can you imagine what would have happened if you would have taken that in to a shop and said, well, there's something wrong with my heater system, and then can you please fix it? <laughs> or, you know, anybody else is going to just replace this blower motor because they're going to say, oh, your bearings are shot. So I hope, you I hope you find this tip helpful. And I hope, once again, you, I apologize. You'll pardon me for my rant. Now, on a more practical side, if you need information on how to get the blower motor out of your 211, how to replace the cabin air fillers, the one here and the ones inside the car, I have some on-demand videos, uh, real inexpensive paid videos that you can view from any computer available on my website at Mercedes source.com so you can just follow the link in the description below if you want to check those videos out.